right, this is Hunter Knight, straight from San Diego Comic Con. I'm here with Eric Threadway from The Four Horsemen. He's going to give us a quick rundown of what we're seeing at the uh, showcases. So how are you doing, Eric? I'm doing well. All right, what can, what can you tell us about these beauties that we have here? Hey, what we got going on here, uh, this is our, our next series of birds, which we've switched over uh, to the Myth Mythic Legion's banner. Um, and as you can see, we've got quite an assortment here. Uh, some of them haven't even been painted yet. Yeah, that guy is Etheron. Uh, he's actually the one that, that, that ties most directly into Mythic Legions. Um, if you look at on our uh, Mythic Legions website, we have faction symbols for all of the characters. Uh, and uh, like he's actually where one of the faction symbols come from. So his when he gets released, we'll get a little bit of his bio. You guys make are making like a whole story and background for these characters, right? Yeah, we want to set it up where the characters have their, their appeal, whether you know the story or not. They're just cool looking figures. But of course, yes, if you want to go a little deeper into that, that route, then it'll be available. When and where can we expect to get this? Uh, for this second second series of birds, um, we're going to be putting up a pre-order for these, hopefully in the next couple of months. Uh, the, the last couple of heads that uh, the dragon and the hornbill uh, were just completed recently, so our next step now is to go to the factory and get the pricing. Are they going to be like in a, as, as Kickstarter no. figures? No, not this time. Uh, you know, the base body that, that we did in the last Kickstarter, uh, the only new tooling on these is the heads. Um, so it's a much safer investment for us to jump into. So now we're going to just set up a, uh, you know, a pre-order style system. You guys are like the killers of Kickstarter. Like every time you guys put something in it, you, you, you get to the goal and you pass it and you bypass it and you like, and, and still run away with it. I mean, wow. It, we were shocked. <laughs> yeah, last we're year with it. and shocked. <laughs> so we're here with the Mythic Legions, uh, in the Mythic Legions case. What can you tell us about this? Why, I, I mean, people are going to be wondering, why are they white? What can you tell us about it? These are, are the first shots, test shots. Um, and so this is, the, this is the first time that we've actually uh, been able to handle these in production PVC uh, with working joints. and they, they're very close to what the final toy will be, minus the paint. That's um, when you guys check like for gaps and what's working and what's not, right? Absolutely. This this is where we get our first shot to troubleshoot, um, and you know I'm I'm happy to report that there's going to be very little for us to go. A couple things that uh, more so that they just didn't send us uh, that we need to get to take a look at. But uh, as far as the the way that the joints are working, the posability. Um, the sturdiness of the figures, it, we're thrilled so far. Um, people are going to be wondering, what is that thing? <laughs> this is like a test shot, right? Are we ever going to get something this big or is it like a teaser? What can, it, what can you tell us about? Uh, the, the plan is absolutely for you to be able to get something that big. Uh, that's our deluxe troll that we're hoping to uh, have a pre-order for this probably in the in the fall maybe if we can if we can pull it off I mean this is a line that, that I've personally wanted to see for years and years um, and you know we've, we've said it a lot of times down but we were just kind of shocked that there wasn't a line that was quite like this out in the and I, ha I have been staring at it for a long time at this point and it's still exciting to me so like, uh, can you give like a quick round down on how like a figure is made yeah we, we start in castelline uh, then it's cast into uh, a urethane, like a resin. Um, and then once we have what's called a tooling pattern, uh, that's like our, you know, our master copy, that gets sent to China to make the tools. And then we also do a, a second copy that's the paint master uh, that then they, you know, they match when they get over there. Um, and then once they, so, so like in the process with these, for example, um, as soon as the tools are complete, they run these first shots. And you, they, they can be in any type of color because they run whatever plastic they have on hand. And uh, so now we have these. We'll go back and forth a little bit, make sure any like loose ends are tied up. So the factory is receiving a set of these and while we're here, as a matter of fact. And they're doing hand-painted samples. They'll match it in, in you know their own production paints because they use a different type of paint. Of course, of course. And then once all of those approvals come together, then it's in the production. Wow, amazing. I mean, 
Do you guys have a like, small insight on how toys are made? This was uh, Eric Treadway from the Four Horsemen. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it. I mean don't forget to like our new Facebook page, The Toy and Pop Culture Feed, with the latest happenings in movies and pop culture, as well as the latest merchandise. Thanks guys! This is Hunter Knight, signing out.